Pilokinos, some of you may have noticed inside Roblox that sometimes the chat stops working or the web page won't load. If not then you have been living under a rock your whole life because Roblox goes down like this every single day. Before we properly get into this please like the video so this information can spread and people may be a little bit more aware. Now for some people this won't be a problem, you can survive with no Roblox for a few hours. Can't you? Well if you are just a regular player or Roblox it won't matter as much. Dubers though it's a bit more problematic since they have to upload content from this platform. But they will still find time slots to do it in the end anyways. But the people who are affected the most would be the developers for multiple reasons. Some of these developers have applied to the developer exchange program where they will get real money for Robux so they can make a living off Roblox. But when the site goes down many problems will happen most affecting their income. When the site goes down teleports will be broken so some games like Dungeon Question would be completely broken for a few hours and their profit will completely stop. This means they are missing some money that can really help them. Other problems are just the fact that the game is slow and players would be frustrated making them leave for a long time which will really down some people's profit. Also for any growing games that only range from 10-20 players, everybody would leave and then when people would want to join back they would see nobody else is playing which will make the player about to join not want to play either. Now we all know that Roblox is probably working on this because when developers stop earning then Roblox will stop earning as well, so please don't call Roblox lazy because they are still probably trying. Now some theoretical reasons that is making Roblox go down around once a day is that there might be some server errors causing the whole site to get really slow or some other reasons but are very highly unlikely and I don't exactly agree with this is that some people might be DDoSing the server. Now DDoSing is when somebody can crash servers or slow them down a lot which can actually cause Roblox a lot of expenses and also fun fact, you can go to prison for it up to 10 years. Something that really sickens me is how non-transparent the Roblox CEOs are being and how they won't give us any ideas of what is going on which in the end is just making us guess. Anyways. If you found this video a bit info or motive or entertaining please subscribe for more content. Peace. Please.